This is the holy grail of energy. The energy will be free. This should be the norm going forward. We have in front of us one of the greatest technological revolutions yet to come, the clean energy revolution. I'm extremely excited because I was able to come and see the first commercially viable solar hydrogen house in existence and I uh, really hope that this sets a model for a new paradigm with respect to uh, residential and potentially commercial power. If a journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step, then it follows that the future of a thousand commercially produced solar hydrogen homes begins with the first home. It's not just energy independence, it's also how many billions of dollars every year consumers will save because they will not have to buy oil or coal or natural gas or even buy electricity. Whatever you can do with fossil fuel, you can do with hydrogen. This technology is scalable up to megawatts. Anybody have a problem with free? Have you ever seen all of the components in one place before? This is really a historical event from that perspective too because not only do you have a solar hydrogen home, but you have the car that runs on hydrogen and you have the equipment that can fuel the car to run on hydrogen all in the same place at the same time. A lot of pieces are coming together. It just is such a big movement and it's, uh, it's a big paradigm shift. We need the political will. For far too long, the fossil fools down in Washington have been spending billions of dollars of our money subsidizing blowing off mountaintops or fracking or putting pipelines that we don't need or power lines to the middle of forests that we don't need. We have the ability to change the world. I urge all the governors in the United States of America to come and visit Pennington, New Jersey and see the project firsthand and see how it makes a difference not only in their state as well as the nation. I think uh, it will be a fantastic opportunity for all the governors. Toyota's have released 5,500 patents free to the world to jumpstart this technology. And they did something much harder than the hydrogen house by doing a vehicle. Something that goes down the road at 80 miles an hour, that's parked in the home garage, you know, and has to uh, pass crash testing all over the place. So they've been working on this for 10 years. I've been working on it for 30 years. But the reality is, is this technology is the next evolution from horse and buggy to fossil fuel, now to the hydrogen economy. I'm declaring this day Energy Independence Day. The reason that I'm here today is to help create the infrastructure for that vehicle and for your home. When Toyota makes the statement that they're going to release 5,500 patents free to the world to enable this technology, that's saying something. Today is Energy Independence Day. Everybody celebrate and let's move this technology forward. So we're showing that, that there is a, an alternative, there is a solution. We all have children and grandchildren that we want to leave a planet for. You know, my goal in life is to, is to give the gift of renewable energy to the next generation. And right now, the need for this is worldwide. Let's go.